Good morning, everyone. How we doing this fine Tuesday morning? Blog walled, 23 months of subbing. Let's go. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. Chat, I have to admit, uh, I did the thing that I do a lot of times when we're starting stream is I started clicking buttons that I don't know what the buttons were for. A nice shirt. Thank you, Miss G's Crafties. I like this shirt. I'm, I'm down with this shirt, very much so. Mobius Red, 19 months of subbing get Toby hype. Toby's not hype right now. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. So yeah, so I found this button that said, um, what did it say? Chat settings, upgrade to chat and events beta. We just click beta buttons chat around here. Naper villain, Naper villain five gifted subs. Did you get your replacement pen in Naper villain? Uh, if you got a gifted sub from Naper Villain, give him a give him a shout out. Colleen, Panic at the Pen Show, what a name. Raven Blackheart, close to the beach. Ooh, nice. Electronaut, enjoy your gifted subs. Enjoy your 30 days ad free viewing. Enjoy your Toby emotes. Uh, he's maybe waking up a little bit and playing with one of his favorite toys here. Uh, hey, Laura, hope you're doing well. Long time no see. Hope you're doing awesome. <clears throat> Peck of Purple Plumes, 21 months of sub, and let's go get composted. 55-0. Your sub count is almost as old as me. Get composted. <laughs> Good morning. Other one will be back in the mail today. Back to you. No worries on that one. No worries on that. Um, so, yeah, I clicked the buttons. It's going to be really cool if I had the layout set up how I wanted to lay out to have um, the events separated from the chat. Like an event is like Fiendor resubscribe 15 months i see that like in my chat log um thank you fiendor for 15 months of subbing nibors 48 months of subbing let's go we're jamming today um and then i clicked off of it because it's going to require some like layout spacing on my monitor and i was already too late for that um long story short i ruined my dark mode in my chat and it's really bothering me that's all i wanted to say my chat is now light while my screen is dark and there's no little button that says dark mode again that I can find quickly. So you're stuck with me, chat. You're stuck with me. Um, this affects this affects you absolutely zero. <laughs> it does not affect you whatsoever. <laughs> Playing with Shell, good morning. How are you doing? Glad to see you here. But yes, now I have a column on my screen that is stark white while everything else is dark and it's bothering me greatly so we will finish this we will we will stop clicking buttons now sorry toby we will stop clicking buttons and uh figure it out dot mackie with the five gifted subs yo kiara playing with shell bork ben bork three sphinxes sim caesar enjoy your gifted subs give a shout out to dot mackie dot mackie thank you so much i really appreciate that toga i want to shout out toga Toga's always um, boosting my posts on Mastodon. I appreciate that, Toga. I can always count on you for a little little heart, little boost on my Mastodons. So I appreciate that. I haven't been as active over there. Uh, I haven't been active because I haven't been active anywhere, like social media, um, recently, which is okay. I don't I don't overly overly uh, think about that too much, but um, I do like to come hang out and it's fun. Gretchen. Gretchen A. Berry, 31 months of subbing. Let's go. That's a lot, a lot uh, of subbing. Thank you so much. Do you have white rim glasses in dark mode? It's a good question. It's a good question. Hmm, I'll have to work on that. You have a blog, think you're plenty active on social media, just not the microsites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah, ever since ever since Twitter just ate it, it's like I just, just don't have the, eh, just a thing. Like, it doesn't define, like, who I am or what I do. So I'll just pop stuff on there. Uh, I'm more reply to people like social media. I'll reply to people and I post some stuff on Instagram, but I'm not like, I'm not like super active. So anyway, anyway, it's a short, short digression. Uh, squirrel chat. It's very, very squirrely. Um, Corinne B 50 more, 54 months of some, whoa, we're working on level five hype train. That's crazy. That is crazy. Good morning, boss Baker, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Um, I was just thinking, we got a couple things to do. Got some mail. Okay, I see it up here. I was looking for, uh, I was looking for what we're gonna do today. We're gonna have a pretty chill stream today. We had some very uh, busy streams uh, last week. We're gonna have a pretty chill stream today. Hope everyone else in North Texas is staying safe from the storms. There's been some nasty stuff coming through chat, so be safe if you're in stormy areas. Uh, 
this last one was uh, going through Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma. Last week was up in Wisconsin. You got the job at the stationery store. Cheers. I'll drink to that. Congratulations, Purple Pins. How did graduation go? We'll talk about that. So now Purple Pins, we're going to expect a, a new cartoon series um, new cartoon series from you um, at your at your new at your new job. The Mongoose. 25 months of subbing, let's go. I did see that this morning Dragon Drawer. We'll put that up. We'll uh we'll put that in the parking lot. We'll hit that uh, here in just a minute, but yes, yeah, so I did see that. I actually have a lot to say about that. <clears throat> now I'm marinating the horror of having an employee discount. That'll kill you. That will that will get you. So, uh, you know, maybe uh, take advantage of it on, in the first couple weeks and just, like, whet your appetite for that and then <clears throat> stop. <laughs> My son's apartment in Mansfield, Texas was damaged and he's headed back there to check it out. Ugh, that's tough. That's tough. I did not catch any of the Indy 500. I watched every second of Monaco, which is kind of torturous. Uh, you did not miss a raffle. Unless I click some, I clicked a button, but I don't think I've clicked a button today. Um, so graduation was Friday night. My daughter graduated from high school. Um, it was awesome. We had a great, we had a great day. We had a great uh, afternoon with the family. The graduation uh, was at their football stadium. It was a big grad. It was their largest graduating class in like ninety something years. I, di I didn't realize her high school was like ninety two years old. Um, <clears throat> so they were like the 90 something graduating class and they were the largest graduation graduating class. Got your fire on fink, fire and fire ink and love it. Nice. I finally did the math on that. <laughs> the, uh, the price isn't going to go up as much, which is good. Um, so, um, so it was outdoors football stadium, 8 PM on a Friday night. It was really hot, really humid. I was sweating. Woo. Uh, I was sweating like crazy. Packed, packed house. Um, 294, 297 graduates. Hey, Tess, good morning. Hope you're doing well. And um, so they brought them out at 8 o'clock, marched in all the graduates. They all sat to start. They were, they were like right on time. Entire PA system went out on the first speaker. Um, so we're sitting there in the hot sweat. It hadn't... Uh, <laughs> The sun really hadn't gone down all the way yet, so it was it was nasty. And literally, football stadium PA, right? So they're going over the stadium PA. Um, they literally, like, finally, once they figured out they couldn't fix what was going on with the PA, with the stadium PA, they drove back to the school, brought out, like, uh, a stage sized PA system and put it on the stage there. So imagine a giant football field with a small stage and then like a PA, like a portable PA system, like four giant speakers there that they set up. So it was pretty quiet. Um, that took them about 30, 40 minutes to get set. And then it went well. Like you just, it was, it was obviously much quieter. <clears throat> Which Nakaya, she's not a, she's not a fountain pen person. She's not a fountain pen person. So. No, no stationary for Elizabeth. Um, but yeah, that was it. Like it, it went well after it went well after that. Um, but we didn't get out of there till like ten o'clock on uh, Friday, and everyone was like buzzing. They did a good once they got some audio. Um, it it went well. So it went well. Um, it was just like like how does this happen? Because that's got to be like one of the most tested systems, right? At the whole thing, like everyone's running. Everyone's running uh, their speeches and their timing and everything like off the audio the, all week long. And then we get there the night of and it's dead. It's co just completely fried. She go on holiday straight after? Nope. She went to sleep for like a day and then she's been back at work for like three days now. <laughs> so glad you didn't get the storms we did in St. Louis. Yeah, it's been bad in the center of the country. We've had we've had just storm storms. We haven't had any like mega damage yet. But I, I say notice I say yet because it's probably... Is probably coming. I'm willing to bet that nobody says the circuit with the lights on. It's possible. They also started with the lights off uh, because it was so bright. Like the sun didn't go down until like after nine uh, where we're at or it stays light. So I actually made a comment. It's like, wow, the lights aren't even on yet. Uh, Zodiac Panko, seven months. Hope you're doing well, Bart. What's up, Alan? Her class size is double what mine was. Yeah. 
yeah. But all in all, like zero complaints and went well. Elizabeth did great. Um, it was a it was good. It was really good. Um, needless to say, uh, me and uh, my wife were we spent Saturday doing nothing. We were pretty we were pretty wiped. Like just the the mental energy that goes into all that, you know. My wife did like the the awesome little slideshow, and she did such a good job on that. <clears throat> it's Tuesday. I have already uh, I've already written things in Monday's calendar spots. Schmevelin, 60 months of subbing. That's a lot of months. Let's go. Thank you, Schmevelin. Hope you're doing well. Love you. Hope you're doing super, super well. Rage Brad in the background unnerved me. I know. It's a little, it's a little creepy. My wife just, my my daughter must have taken that one. So my wife just brought it back to me this morning. It's like, oh, let me just throw it up here. So um, we got some other things in the background that we're going to talk about today, uh, including this awesome uh, cicada uh, postcard, which we're going to get to here in a bit. So yeah, that's how my last uh, last uh, few days has gone. Uh, I was glad to have a holiday weekend, glad my wife was off. So we got all the graduation stuff done and then just kind of chilled the rest of the weekend. I worked yesterday, uh, but only like half. I worked like a few hours Sunday and then like half a day yesterday, but it, it was pretty chill. Um, pretty chill because I have a busy week in, in front of me. The end of the month is always like super busy, especially when I realize that I've, I haven't i have like planned for this, planned for that, um, need to do certain things, get a lot of content out this week. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, did I give the whole class of Wopexes? That would have been great. <laughs> I'm enjoying the newsletter. Glad you like it, Ferret. I had a little fun on this weekend's newsletter. That was not, uh, I didn't plan on doing that. I was like, oh, this could be fun. Sometimes like I... You would think I would have like a long, like a huge plan of newsletter writing because like sometimes they, they take a lot of time. And uh, sometimes I just sit in front of the computer and go, this would be fun and start typing. And that's what this weekend was. All my Wopexes live in Wo Texas. There's a few people that will get that. I like that. All right. Let's see here textings oh so it's officially summertime here um oh let's see do we have a oh here's a fun here's a fun picture i'll show you all the graduation my wife was just sending out images so this was <clears throat> so this was afterwards all the kids and bundle in there <clears throat> Just noticed a mini Brad on the icebox. I know. I don't think that can live there. It's a little bit weird. Like sitting, it looks like it's sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> really enjoyed Miss Phil this week. Thank you. I like put in. I had a lot of like, and I think I even cut it short. Sometimes I could have like thirty links to put it in there, but I always like having some uh, like rabbit holes to go into as well. So yeah, it's officially summer, even though it's not summer yet. But my kids are out of school. Um, one of them's permanently out of high school, um, and then. Um, yeah, so we're trying to sort out like all of the summer scheduling and plans and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Shouldn't really affect me here until I start my own travel, um, probably towards the end of this month <clears throat> and then, um, throughout the summer, we're going to have some weird scheduling uh, later this summer. So three more days till school is over. Nice. Permanently out of high school is a good way. Yeah. One more to go. It's uh, it hits a little weird sometimes when you think about it, when you think about it too hard. When does she move into the dorm? Uh, early August. So, um, we have an orientation in like three weeks, and then like six weeks after that, she moves in. Today is the end of this month. Thank goodness it's not. The bit about the type dumped in the Thames was fascinating. I totally, I read that over and over, and I, I, that's like, I almost, that was almost my lead article. I couldn't quite get, uh, I couldn't quite get uh, locked in uh, on like a title for that. But that, that was almost my, uh, my lead article because I had so much fun doing that. Uh, where's she going? It's, uh, it's called Georgia College. It's about an hour from us. <clears throat> Start your weightlifting exercises now. <sighs> no. Want to let you know the pen arrived. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Our school's in on 618. Yeah. So, like, I know the, some of the northern schools in the States uh, are, like, mid-June. Because my, my sister lives in Massachusetts. And we If we were going to see them in the summer, we always had to coordinate, like, later in June. I still need to go watch some of the videos on the um, 
on the doves type stuff. That's where my daughter goes. She loves it. That's amazing, Gretchen. Oh wow. Well, you'll have to uh, you'll have to email me some uh, some tips and tricks. Um, that's where my daughter visited and fell in love with, and was really hoping she got to go in there. So yeah, yeah, an hour away is great. Like for Elizabeth, we I, honestly we were very fully prepared for her to just stay home this year and uh, study from home. Um, just because, you know, that's her personality. Like, you know, we don't want her to do anything, but she fell in love with Georgia college and is super excited. So, and then yes, close enough to where she can come home on the weekends. Like we're not far at all. So summer theory, summer starts earlier in the areas that are more expensive, uh, air conditioners to run in the summer. (laughs) Yeah. It's probably like every, every other schedule related thing. It's probably all like farm related. Yeah, an hour away seems perfect. But um, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a great experience. We're excited. She's excited. Um, she's been. T- she hasn't met her roommate in person, but she's been talking to her for a couple months now. So it's gonna be good. All right, let's get into some pen stuff. Um, I got an email this morning from actually from Bunga Box. Oh uh, hi that had uh, this whole release in here. So this is an Estabrook Bungu Box collaboration. Um, it's a flower based, uh, I, I'm i not gonna uh, attempt this one. Uh, if y'all would like to practice that at home on your own in private, please go right ahead. Uh, but we're just gonna go with the flower fountain pen and it looks amazing. Like I'm a, it's, it's very transparent, like I'm down with the transparency. It looks really cool. I think the trim is too much for me personally. <coughs> Excuse me. This is one of those times where I think I would... Oh, sorry, my head's in the way. This is one of those times where I do think I would prefer a uh, silver trim as much as I like gold trim. <coughs> it's really... And I am... That's a good point, Alan. Not everyone will match the converter. If they do all this external trim, then they'll throw in like a stock... Most... Most converters are are the silver trim converters, right? Like how many look around and see how many gold converters, trim converters you have. Like I have some platinum ones. That's a big deal. Like which is super smart. That actually makes it better because you can see the um, under the grip section. You can see the the nib, uh, the nib collar, and then that actually matches the uh, twist mechanism. <clears throat> so I really, really do like this pen. I don't think I will own this pen. I don't. I don't love this pen. I I like it a lot. Like I, this is one I would I would want to see in person. Like and it could be like in person. Um, could be like a lot of pens like this that are kind of on the extreme d- design side, which I like. I need to see them in person to actually like send me over the edge whether you know it would be for something I would personally enjoy. Now this pen I would totally get to review. Like this is kind of this would be a fun review pen. I haven't reviewed an Esterbrook uh, in a while, and having this collaboration with Bungu Box, and it's going to be broadly available. Uh, well, I say broadly available at Bungu Box and through Esterbrook. So I wonder if Esterbrook's other vendors are going to get it. I don't. I don't completely understand that. Probably if I read the description here, we'll see. But um, yeah, I kind of want to see this in person. Like I'm not rushing out. Like, this isn't what, like, smash, smash the buy button type of thing. Okay, Procyon Flynn tries it. Kacho Fugetsu. Kacho Fugetsu. Okay. That's actually not that bad if I if I break it down. Kacho Fugetsu. Yeah, and is this the first one that they've done the nib with a uh, character for the, with anything on it besides the Estabrook uh, script? So you can see it there. Have they ever done this before? I don't recall. That, the more I look at this, the more I'm, I'm getting into it. Like, that picture is sick, right? This is the kind of picture I want to see from this pen where it's almost like radiating the color. Um, like my Italian Ice from Franklin Christoph, it look, just looks like plain, clear pen. But when you get it in the right lighting, it just kind of glows. Like, this is sick. Like, that's a sick picture. Did you see the rainbow lorikeet pen from Heinz? Yes, and I thought it looked amazing. Sir Cobalt, did I answer your last email? 
Oh, I think I still owe you. I yeah, okay. I owe you a response. The response I did answer it, but I owe you. I still owe you something. Okay, cool. We're gonna get to email today. I haven't been doing email the past few days. I do like that Trey. Whoever was saying that, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. I don't. The more I look at this, the more I like it. Like I dis I don't like this image as much. Like the 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 white based images, the white background images. But like the the real life images um are pretty sick. So <clears throat> So yeah. Um All right, let's pull up the rainbow lore key because I do like that a, uh, a lot. I thought this one looked really good. So I'm working on a pen with Heinz. I think I told you all that, but we're, we're still, uh, we just put in some nib orders um, the other day, but I don't have a sample to show y'all yet. Um, needless to say, I like this pen a lot. So <clears throat> I'll wait to show y'all mine. Um, it's gonna be in this ballpark of wildness i like that i like that i don't have the hardware on this like this we're doing we're doing a new a new design from them um that i'm really really gonna like uh that i really like and i hope you like sd redneck 14 months of summon let's go um <laughs> you got an ad gross i know happens heinz like we always say in the u.s heinz like the ketchup um when we first started pronouncing the name, when they first came on the scene, we got to uh, Jim, Jim Hines, and uh, got a clarification. But yeah, these look spectacular. Um, I can't, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get mine. I don't, I don't even have my sample yet. But they, they've made some samples. They were just trying to dial them in. <laughs> I'm getting the Novelure Fountain Pen and Rainbow Rass today. That looks really spectacular too. Is that gold spot? We'll come back to this in one second. Where is that one? I don't think we talked about that one. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Because I, I did like, I, I actually wanted to look at this one more because I saw David's, um, where would it be? Is it a Horizon? Oh, thank you. It's an original, okay. Oh, we did talk about this one because everyone thought it looked like the VAC 700, VAC 700 R. Yeah, this actually makes me want to ink up my, uh, um, my Twisby. I just, I, I just like this aesthetic. As a Heinz, do you think they have a Heinz Heinz discount? That's a good question. I would ask them that in person. I want a Kaveco Sport DI, DIY from Gnome's Discord. I guess that solves my pocket pen issue. I have an outsized love for just the plastic Kaveco sports. Like when I did that post the other day on Instagram, it's like pick either the piston, the steel, or the plastic. I think the steel one, like I didn't totally count them all up. I think I would probably pick the steel two. But the plastic Kavecos are so good. Like I can't even, they shouldn't be. That's one of the pens where I don't think I really liked it at first because I didn't really get it. I was like, oh, this pen's too light. It's like writing with air. And then I committed to it and like stuck it in my pocket. And I was like, this pen works exactly how it should work. Um, it's super durable. Um, I never have a problem with it. And the writing experience is, is solid. So yeah, I thought it was cool. But I think, I think the steel, I didn't do like a poll, but people were putting their comments in. I think if I counted them up, steel would probably have won that. And I think I would pick the steel too. Oh, you got the Frankenstein. <laughs> How much are you playing with like the twisty head thing? I like my plastic Kaveco, I love my AL. I think I think that's yeah. I, I think I'm pretty much with you there. Like I said, I would pick the steel, which is in the AL category. 
um, which I those are almost like kind of interchangeable. The steel's a little bit heavier, um, but there's something about that plastic sport that gets me. <clears throat> no, not the piston one. Like I think I would choose the steel sport over the piston one. Although I'm I'm really enjoying the piston one so far. All right, so if you were here last week, I got my box in from Kimberly from the pin shows. Um, I have this giveaway for the. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying the piston one. It's going to get a pretty positive review from me. So I have this giveaway. Um, Andrelium uh, Diver Diversi, Diversi Harbor. Uh, this is from the Chicago uh, Pin Show this year, 2024 Limited Edition Inc. I'm giving this away on the blog. That is up for you to enter. Uh, just went live this morning. So this is um, Kimberly picked up a bunch of stuff, which you saw last week and uh, started giving that away. I've held this one for the blog. We'll do some more stuff um, going forward with um, pin show giveaways. So there we go. Okay. Um, I'm a little tired of dark blue ink with red sheen. Feels like blasphemy to say. <sighs> I'm trying to think where I stand. I don't ever get tired of it. I get, I do prefer lighter shades because there's not enough variation in dark blues with red sheen. I want something lighter, and I'm talking like fractionally, like the Einzu I, I reviewed Monday, which really did not come out well in pictures, I don't think. Um, so we'll see. Brad got the Kaveco Arts sport blue pebble ah, those looks really really good i i have skipped the sport knowing that the i mean i skipped the art sport release knowing that the piston was coming but they really 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 look nice my go-to ink color is blue black but like um take for example example sailor blue black it's really really dark and those are the my least enjoyable blue black inks even though it has a really nice red sheen it's really dark and really rich um in color i prefer the more fainter ones either like a lami blue black or like a shinkai if you classify that as a blue black where they have like a just a more character more undertones blue blacks that lean gray are my jam yeah i think that's the way i would put it like um but like sailor is just a great ink it, the sailor blue black is just great and i literally never use it because it's too dark that's all so, like, I'm a huge orange fan, but there's certain shades of uh, orange that I, I just don't get along with. I don't characterize Shinkai as a lighting. Yeah, I was saying, like, in comparison to Sailor Blue Black. If you move into dark blue with copper sheen, Monteverde Blue Velvet Cake is really good. That's interesting. Sukio Rock. Sukio is probably the most underrated. I don't get Shinkai. I, I understand that. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of people don't like blue blacks either, so. Yeah, Shinkai is, Shinkai probably stuck with me because it was one of the first inks where I understood, that allowed me to understand that there's, like, things underneath the surface of inks. It's not just blue, black, and flat, right? There's just, it's just a character-filled color with lots of different color undertones, depending on the nib and depending on the paper. And since it was one of those early discoveries, it's kind of stuck with me more than most. Um, I don't ink it up as much anymore, probably because my bottle's almost empty. But uh, it's an enjo it's an enjoyable ink. If I was going to have a fallback, a Roshizuku, um, probably like Peck is referring to, I would probably just like default to Sukio, uh, just because I've used Shinkai so much. And I didn't use Sukio until the past couple of years. And it's just as good, if not better. I keep my Lamy 2000 filled with Shinkai. Yeah, that's a perfect, perfect combo. I was thinking, what was I thinking? One of these blue blacks. I have a Lamy 2000 stainless steel that I haven't litten, litten, written with in a while. And I was like, oh, that ink would be perfect for that pen. And now I've already blanked out on it. For longer writing sessions, what would be your default color? Blue black. I... I'm not even sure I, there's an alternate. Um, maybe a medium to dark purple. 
might be a second try. Better in a broader nib for Shinkai? Yeah, for character, for sure. Yeah, greater, like one, This is that's a, actually a really good way to put it, Namiki Winter Vlad. If I'm gonna write one page, I'll use almost anything, right? Like orange and like greens. Um, if I'm gonna write a lot of pages, I'm gonna go blue, black, maybe dark purple, and maybe a dark brown. That is a really short list. Bilberry, I'm literally using uh, Bilberry this morning to write some notes because I'm trying to I'm trying to empty some of the pens that I have. So I've, I have my Kaveco Sport. Uh, this has uh, Diamine Bilberry cartridge in it, and I really really like this color. Um, and I'm just I I have several pens I'm trying to write dry before I start cleaning. I need to clean some out. This uh, is Kikyo considered a blue black. I had a tough time with that one honestly. Oh wait, McPenthusiast. 12 months of subbing. Let's go. I think you hang out for a minute. I think we're going to be, uh, I think we might need to have a discussion here momentarily, McPenthusiast. So you, you hang in there. Um, so when I was getting chronic kimchi, when I was getting out a few of the colors to swab with the Tasha Ainzu, I was like, is Kikyo, does Kikyo fall into this category? And I, I am not sure. I am not sure. So like, I have a Kikyo Blue Nakaya, right? But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that that ink is like a blue-black ink, but I need to get it out more. I, I literally stared at that bottle yesterday or a couple days ago when I was doing this review. Um, and that was the one that I, I wanted to try and I just kind of held back. I was like, I don't think it's going to quite fit what I'm looking for. Do you have one for an OG Omos, like a, a like an ink? Like, what do you mean? Is that what you're asking me, Lithrak? I need to clean three pens. They've sat longer than I care to admit. Yeah, it happens. Diamine Imperial Purple. That's a good one. I have the Bungu Box Imperial Purple, purple and I think they're pretty close. Um, I might even go a little bit darker than that. Diamine Imperial Purple could work. Really only have one default ink, which is for testing new pens. I use Sailor Black, which is very dependable solid ink. Yeah. Not me going wise, Brad streaming on Monday. Facts. Huge, big, gigantic facts. It's a it's today's gonna be one of those days. Like I'll get back to, to normal tomorrow, I'm sure, but I don't know. Oh, I don't have an original Omos pen. I have original Omos inks though. I don't have an original Omos pen. I've had a 360 I sold years ago. I kind of want. I kind of wish I had a cocktail series. What were they called? The cocktail series ones. Those are kind of like the perfect size, and had cool colors. They had a yellow one that was really nice. The yellow, purple, orange, red, something. I can't remember the name of them. Not sure how the new ones compare. Same. Omas Ojiva cocktail series. Yeah, those are really neat. Does anyone like the new Ojivas? I don't know. I haven't tried one. I've tried them at pen shows. And apparently the more current versions are better than the initial ones that they came out. Please show that pin again and what was it? Pretty blue. <laughs> Let's see here. So this is a this is one of my favorite pins. Like in the in the ranking of all the pins, this is probably like a top fiver. So this is a um, Nakaya Piccolo in Kikyo blue. So it's just this blue Arushi finish. And it's solid, right? There's no like color variation in this one, really. So it's just solid blue. It's one of my favorite just writing pens. I've been using this pen today, too. So I brought it out because there's actually a Sailor ink that's called the same color as, uh, as this color. So this is like a very unassuming pen. But the more you look at it, the more you realize how just beautiful it is. So one of my favorites. Surprisingly stealthy, yeah. So it doesn't have like undertones like some of the other um, Nakayas, right? This one's just completely solid, and I, I I love it for that. What sailor was that? Oh, my camera froze up. I'm not frozen, am I? Just my camera. Hmm. We've been having. There's a ghost in the machinery here, chat. We really need the camera today for what we're gonna do. So we'll see. Y'all still see me, right? Look at that. Totally broken. 
How cool is that? How cool is that, chat? Um, nothing should have touched or wobbled or anything to the camera. So we'll, um, yeah, good place to freeze. This is getting to be annoying. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go reseat the cable real quick right behind the desk. If y'all lose me, uh, just hang tight. I'll just restart the stream real quick. All right. Because there's a lot of wires back here that I could uh, jumble up. So we died, right? We died, or are we back already? Do you see me, or are we dead? <clears throat> we definitely had a network bump, but are we live now? I'm here. Interesting. I didn't have to... I saw the network flash. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. The, um, the cord... Uh, for the cameras right next to the Ethernet cable. I sound different. Interesting. Look, that didn't work. How cool is that? Hmm. We really need this camera to work today because I was going to show you ink samples. All right, let me do this. I apologize. So again, chat, I am, um, I'm going to be working on an upgraded computer this year. <laughs> I think we're just like in full gremlin mode with my uh, hardware these days. All right, did that fix it? All right, I think we got it. Nope. Hey, look, it moved my main screen. Isn't this just a peach? We're just having way too many issues. And this is way too annoying. So this is supposed to be the face cam that was just up. So now this one works. Hi. And then we switch it back to my face cam. Boom. How old is this PC now? Seven years? I think seven years. Do we get it? That, 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 that. All right. Whew. Okay, I think we're here. Oh my god. All right. Well, we bet we've been uh, lollygagging this whole stream, so uh, we better get to the things that I want to cover. Uh, all right. That still works. That still works. Hi. Okay. And I didn't touch anything, Chad. I promise you, I didn't touch anything. All right, so let's do a couple things here. We got mail. We got mail from CMU. <laughs> Brad, your own your own white glove service. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about Mick Penthusiast here for a second. So we got a letter. I got I got my mail this weekend. We got a letter. I'm not going to show you this, but I would like to read this letter, uh, at least part of this letter from Mick Penthusiast chat. Uh, let me see. Let me look at it, see if I can show any of it. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. We can show this part. <laughs> All right. Are y'all ready? Uh, oh, thank you, Slumber and City. I love this shirt, too. I did good on this shirt. Not going to lie. All right. <laughs> Don't put any drinks in your mouth. Don't take a drink right now, chat. All right. Y'all ready? So this is from McPenthusiast. 
Dear Brad, thank you very much for, wow, this Wopex is so much worse than I imagined. <laughs> they couldn't even complete the sentence. Thank you very much for the, wow, this Wopex is so much worse than I imagined. Very special pin attic Zippo case. I ordered the flashlight and will get it set up to be the only branded product I carry, and proudly so. I could not take it anymore. What is wrong with that pencil? My puppy has a good idea. <laughs> has a good idea for it, a chew toy. But I doubt whether it's made of wood and wonder if it's actually toxic. <laughs> so <laughs> they couldn't even get through the first sentence. <laughs> Thank you very much for the, wow, this Wopex is so much worse than I imagined. Oh my God, I died when I read that. That's just facts, y'all. That's just how it be. <laughs> they couldn't even, they were sitting here going to, I'm going to write Brad a nice letter with this Wopex. And they got one, two, three, four, five, six words plus the date. Well, uh, well, uh, eight words, including the salutation or the greeting. Eight words before they said, wow, <laughs> this Wopex is so much worse than I imagined. That's the good stuff, chat. <laughs> do the Wopex come pre-sharpened? They do. Because I don't think anyone could actually get them sharpened. Oh my God, that crushed me. Whew, I'm still crying about that. Wow. <laughs> this Wopex is horrible. You didn't hate the Wopex? Yeah. Oh. Rip to that other poor soul. Yeah, that's Rich Sticks. He hasn't been in here in a while, but uh, it's it's one of us. My shirt is awesome. You should draw this shirt. All right, second one is actually what we're going to do today and what my uh, stream title alluded to. I'm not sure if Olive Octopus Inc. is in here today. <clears throat> Uni K20 will sharpen the Wopex, but you need to clean it out after because it gunks up the grinder. So that's my sharpener right here with the black. Here, but I don't even want to do that. Zippo is loaded and lighting the way. Nice. This would make a good recruitment test. Give it to pros prospective hires and see if they complain. Well, which side would you be on? Would you want them to complain or would you not want them to complain? Like, it depends on what you're hiring for. I would, like, if I'm hiring for, like, a certain job, I might want them to complain. Will you send a Wopex with my raffle win last week? I'm almost certain I did. Well, which what did you win? I think I've sent... I haven't sent Thursday stuff. I'm still seeing it here. Oh, you well, you won an ink, didn't you? I see it. Yes. It's still sitting here, and I still have some. Uh, I don't know that I'd want someone who liked the Wopex to work for me, is my point. Yeah, um, I'll be shipping that today, Slumberland Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see it right over here. So those I have not shipped yet, but it will get a Wopex. I think I have like five or six left. I like the Wopex. It's easy to sharpen with a knife and the plastic binder makes it impossible to break the lead. True. True. All right. So the other thing I got in the mail, well, part of it, it was actually two separate, uh, two separate things. I thought this was hilarious. This postcard. <laughs> this is so true. It finally ended. The, uh, the invasion ended. So, um, this is from Olive Octopus Inc. Um, and I, I just thought this was super hilarious. <laughs> you gave away a warm heart. Uh, I, I have a warm heart, Mike. I give that away to everybody. <laughs> yeah, Olive Octopus Inc. was, uh, she found the winning postcard and sent it to all of us with the, the cicadas. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. It was really cool. I thought that was a really cool postcard. You never got the cicadas? It was bad. And they're finally done. So see you in a while we'll keep that up here for a little bit all right so let's do a giveaway because then uh chat um inky longhorn 36 months of summon let's go thank you so much inky longhorn appreciate you being here we have a i'll show you here we have some ink swatches to go through finding a few dead ones yeah I think that's about where we're at. Like some dead ones and like pretty quiet. We have an envelope full of what I'm assuming is ink swatches and samples that cost me money the last time I did this. So we're gonna go through this in a second. I have not opened this yet. 
Once I opened it, I went, oh no. Uh, I think there's maybe a, oh, there's some postcards in here, nice. So um, let me do a giveaway first because we haven't done one yet today and then we're gonna go into, we're gonna open this up and see what all's in it. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Since we're talking about pencils, let me at least send y'all some good pencils. Let me at least give y'all some good pencils. MS Teams just crashed hard. Oh, there's all of Octopus Inc. Working and lurking. All right, so I'm going to go through your samples here in a minute. I cussed you when I opened this uh, envelope. I'll tell you why in a second. I'll make you lurk some more. All right, so let's give away some good pencils. So these are the Musgrave number one, the Harvest number ones um, that I did for the Pen Addict shop called the Pencil Addict. Um, these are really, really good cores. I like these a lot. Number one grade, and we'll include the... Uh, um, the members edition write notepads. These kind of came out around the same time, so a lot of people were buying these together. And this, this, is, this is a good notebook for fountain pens, but why people like it so much is that it's good for pencils too. Like this is a really good kind of all around paper. Finally brought, broke down and brought the purple Kuratoka dive and gave my blue one a father, Father's Day, early Father's Day gift. That's awesome, I like that purple one. No Wopex, I might have enough Wopex to get to this one, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's give away. Let's give away. All right. Um, all right, this giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. You must be present to win. You must email me your shipping address. Chat. <clears throat> oh, are we out of Mandalorians yet? We might. This is a... Oh, last, last call for Mandalorian stickers. Last Mandalorian sticker here today. And then we're going to get into the Shoguns and Geishas that uh, Lilium sent me from Japan. That'll be our next next batch. So while y'all are y'all are uh, raffling and all of Octopus Inc is working, so I put in my put up my Tasha Einzu um, review on the blog Monday, and that ink was I bought that ink because all of Octopus Inc had sent me some samples in the mail of ink swatches. And that color stood out to me, so I went and bought it. And I also bought two other colors. This was Antique Black, which I haven't used. Emotional Olive, which I haven't used. Both of those are Terana Taranishi Guitar. And then Natasha Ainzu ink. So she cost me three bottles of ink. And I posted that uh, Monday. So the Ainzu um, post went up Monday. That's the first one I've done so far. I'm going to work on another one soon. So then... I had gotten my mail this weekend from the P.O. box and I was sitting here working yesterday and I hadn't opened my mail yet and I had this uh, small blue envelope and I couldn't tell who it was from. And I opened it up and this was in it. This was just, just like this in the envelope. And I went like this and saw the swatches and I knew immediately what, what, what it was. And I said, oh my God. And just like, I just threw it down because this is gonna cost me some more money. like. This is what Olive Octopus Stink does. Uh, they cost me money, um, and I'm here for it, so I'm, I'm happy about it. So we're going to see what uh, what all is in this envelope. I think it's a bunch of postcards, too, which I like. We haven't done we haven't done a postcarding stream. I think we'll... We're not going to have time this week, chat. We need to talk about our schedule this week. Omaha Dad Games, 32 months of seven. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, and their swatches are beautiful, too. I know. I save all of them. Brad, what do you think of the OmniFlex nib? I tried two so far and I find them scratching. They don't have much line variation. I do not have an OmniFlex nib. Who makes that one again? Is that uh, Monteverde? Monteverde Conklin? I don't think I have one of those. I 
Has Jeff reviewed one? Conklin? Has Jeff reviewed one on the blog? I've never used one because I only hear bad things. <laughs> um, so Conklin and Modern, any Yaffa, Yaffa brands. Um, I haven't heard good things. It's still kind of tempting to go, why? Right? I'll, I will definitely review products that people consistently have a poor time with um, to try to understand why. But fact Brad hates to write negative reviews. That's not true. I just don't give myself the opportunity to write many negative reviews. <laughs> I plan ahead. <laughs> I plan ahead. <laughs> I don't mind writing negative reviews. Okay, good. All of Octopus Sync. That's funny. So yeah, I will 100% write negative reviews. I just don't give myself... I don't put myself in that position a lot, but I will. Mike had two Omni Flexes, one was scratchy, one was nice and smooth. Line variation is good. Yeah. Most people are saying it's gone, gone pretty rough. 10 most complicated stationary products. Nice semantics. If Brad hasn't reviewed it, I can assume it's his favorite thing. There, there's there's two things you can assume. One, that. And two, I, I just haven't had the time or no one's asked me or the opportunity hasn't presented itself. It's not that fun to write bad stuff. Yeah, so like I don't put myself in that position that much because it's, I don't like feeling that way. <laughs> why do I want to, why do I want to be mad about this product and then write about being mad about this product. But I think sometimes it's valuable. Like it's valuable information to say, hey, these are this is a problem, right? So like I, I'm totally down for like sharing that information and talking about it. I generally am not gonna spend, you know, if a, a review is gonna be like 90% negative, I'm probably just gonna like pass. So there's lots of little semantics in there, but um, the part about... Um, me not reviewing something, I don't know, don't read too much into it. But if it's a universally poorly, here's a great example. I wanted to be, I wanted to get the, um, what's the endless creator, the retractable pen? I wanted to get that pretty early on. But the first people who got it killed it so badly, I was just like, I'll wait, I'm good. Like, that's a really good example of just, like, I'm going to pass. Maybe eventually I'll do it if they do a second time, if they come around. Um, right? But, like, I feel like what's the point of me reviewing the Endless Creator now when kind of, like, that die has been cast? Um, when enough people say the same thing, I feel like I don't have anything original to say. I'm not going to do it, especially if it's negative. It's like, yeah, people don't like this pen. Check out what they said. Check out what they said. It's like, you don't meet, need me to just keep piling on. Right? So, yeah. Buzz on that died quickly. So, but like I shared Paul's review as like the lead article for Missville because I thought it was valuable information. Right? Yeah, I, do, I agree with that, Dutch Bill Platypus. That's why... I do try to talk about these things, even though I may not have like a full review on certain things, if that makes sense. Hey, lip gloss and lattes. So like, that's also helpful on the podcast too, <clears throat> to where we can just discuss like, hey, here's what's currently going on with product X. Heard from LBA that the creator is getting beneficial revisions. I decided to wait on, cool. So yeah, like, I'm okay waiting, right? Like, I've always talked about this. Like, I'm okay waiting um, for a product review. <clears throat> Phew, I felt like I stepped into college and was supposed to show up at junior high. Uh, we, 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 uh, we're we all grade level uh, education here. Uh, <laughs> Leopard, <laughs> all grade levels here. All right, let's pick a winner. And we'll look at some ink samples. Pick of purple plumes. Pick of purple plumes. <laughs> you can say snatch, but not. 
<laughs> yeah. You have a degree, but not in ink pen stuff. Well, consider yourself starting that degree today because we're about to talk some, talk some ink stuff. Peck, you win. Weren't you just saying how you never win anymore? All right, email me, hello at pinac.com with your shipping address. And I, if you actually send this out to me today, I will ship it today because that's what I'm doing after stream. <clears throat> Ooh. All right, let's pop this on here. You couldn't catch fish in a bucket. I've made some pins, the Parker kind. Oh, heck yeah. Leopard, that's awesome. A lot of our pin makers, we have pin makers in this stream right now. A lot of our pin makers started exactly like you did. And um, that are now making kitless pins. 100%. We talk about this stuff all the time. Glad you found us. Glad you're here. All right, apologies, chat. Let me just get this uh, giveaway squared away. And then we'll see how all of Octopus Inc. is going to spend my money today. Okay. <clears throat> Apologies, Chad. I'm very thirsty today. I don't win anymore. First two years, I won six or seven. Yeah, you did win a bunch there for a while. Any updates on that Crazy Spoke update you mentioned two weeks ago? Uh, which one? <laughs> I can't keep up. We have retractables coming soon. Yeah, Mike, Mike hasn't won in... I would have been, if you told me you'd never won, I wouldn't have been, been surprised. But I don't think you enter, enter all of them either. So, Megan Lindley still zero wins club? God, that's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> okay, so all of Octopus Inc. In the past, y'all have seen me um, go through um, some of their ink samples that they send me, which is what you see here. But I think first I want to get into these postcards, which I think it might be oh, it might be some more cicada postcards that I can send myself. Oh, there's more. Hell yes. Oh, I'm excited. Brad, what's your email again? Hello at pinac.com. Do exclamation point winner if you want to copy and paste it. Yeah, that's right, Mike. I forget what that was. Okay, so this reminded me. Oh, wow, you did way better with your Atlanta postcards than I did. Um, so this reminded me. I was going to say, let's do some postcard streams this week, but I can't stream on Thursday because we are, oh, look, here's one of the problems. Hmm. We have, okay. Um, usually my, my head is in this, uh, <laughs> in this scene. Wow. Can I grab my head? Can we put it in front of this scene? All right, which one is that? So that's webcam. So let's move this up. Looks like we have scene. Uh, we have scene issues. Looks like that might be part of our problem, chat. Apologies. Let's see what we get here. That is not it. Sorry, I think I figured out part of the problem and I'm just trying to clean it up so I know which is which. <laughs> okay. So we want. That's test game. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Sorry, chat. We've discovered one of the problems. Probably when I was trying to fix it, I created a different, I probably duplicated the scene. That image is stuck, stuck, yeah. Which is weird that that scene still exists somewhere. So, all right, so we have this scene back. Move my head a little bit over here. Okay, so what I was saying, chat. I would like to do a big postcard stream soon. We're probably going to have to save that till next week. And um, because I can't stream on Thursday, we're building our Lego 
for Relay FM um, annual member podcast. I know I got to rename the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so let's maybe next week um, plan on doing a postcard stream next week. Yeah. How awesome are these? The cicada invasion. These are sick. Oh my God. These are so good. <laughs> that's great holy crap oh olive octopus I love these they rise <clears throat> thank you Mike for the link <laughs> three weeks of singing and summer love <laughs> Oh my god, these are sick. Cicada jazz jam session. Oh my god. This is awesome. I picked out the Seda cards and got them with blank backs. Yeah, I got all y'all are gonna get lots of stuff on these. <laughs> Cicada Fest. Oh, so here's all the designs in one card. These are amazing. Thank you so much. So we'll plan on um, we'll plan on doing some uh, postcarding next week, which will be good. And then we got the Lana big peach bottom on my mind. These are great. Oh, this is these are from the same company. Oh, these are wild. Vacation mode, the beach. God, this is perfect. I love these so much. Always happy hour. Oh, I need to write a, this one with a sailor. Sailor pen. Don't go postal, just go coastal. I love seafood. These are hilarious. Mermaids drink free. Parrot Palace, Bolling Girl, Polly Wanna Margarita. Truth. Seize the day. I like this one. Uh, perfect. Beaches this way, rat race that way. Perfect. That one's great. Well, thank you so much. These are I, these are off the charts good. Off the charts good stuff. I can't wait to dig into those. All right, here's the real, real trouble here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, you said you were gonna send me some of the. Um, are these like the the phosphorescent ones? Like, should I stick them in the sun? Is that what the deal is with these? So this is the UV. Okay, so let's do. Okay, so let's do this this so it looks like there's a few are these uv same alexandrite that then that okay these look cool so alexandrite this is dominant industry alexandrite moonstone philosopher's stone and seraphite All right so if i stick them in the window Will that do the trick? Oh, sick. <laughs> Check it out. Sick. All right, let's do another one. This is the most fun ever. Whoa, this one's purple. Ugh. So that's this one. You can have a better giveaway. For oh yeah, I'll put these in the giveaways. That's that one. That was that one it's starting to fade out now, but you get the picture. 
Okay, so let's do, this is the yellow one. Whoa, it's blue. That's cool. Do they all have like a little bit of shimmer in them? I can tell some of them have the shimmer in them, not all of them. And then uh, Moonstone. All right, what color is the peach one gonna be? Alexandrite is actually readable in both states. Yeah, it's totally readable on its own. Ooh. That's, that's kind of cool. I really like this one because it's kind of like a blue, purple, brown. This one's fading quicker, though. Do you want to see inks that change color in the sun? Watch this one. Let's Watch this one. Here. Watch. See, it's this color, and then you go like this. Yeah, it's kind of, it was hard to tell. That one faded like really fast. I'm gonna do that one again. It's weird, it almost made it look like it was just like a, like it was aging the the flower or the leaf, whatever it is. I'm gonna do that one again. It's almost like a brown looking color. <laughs> Toby's like, what are you doing? Yeah, this one's super weird. I kind of like this one. It's so weird looking. It looks like it's just aging the color, but it also fades really, really quickly. Like you can see, you can see it fading. Yeah, ginkgo leaf. Yeah, but like it's already, already back to back to normal. I kind of like that one. All right, these are wild. Okay, so we'll start putting some of these. We'll stack all these up. Um, I'll take these out to the shipping department, and I'll start throwing them in orders. Or to start throwing them in giveaway stuffs. These are perfect. Thank you so much. This is really cool. Very cool. I like that. The orange and yellow change fast. The green and teal are slow. I noticed that the the this teal one was really slow, and then this one was super fast. But I kind of like the color on that one, oddly enough, which is weird. That was like it was a super weird color. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay, so it is, it is safer stream because it says hi, Brad, and chat. All right, I should have read this first. Here are some fun postcards to send out on stream or use however you like. I got most of them with blank backs, so you have lots of room, but they're all from Anderson Design Group in Nashville, Tennessee. I've included a swatch sheet of the new... Uh, oh, I wanted to see this. See, this is where it's going to cost me money. I hadn't bought the Manio, Manio 5th Anniversary inks from Sailor and uh, the 6 inks from the Dominant Industry Kickstarter paper I'm writing on is from a blank notebook I got from the Kickstarter as an add-on. Finally, there are a handful of Lee Swatch cards with UV reactive inks that you can throw in with giveaways. Um, cheers to one of the best communities on the internet. Just talking about y'all chat. Uh, hopefully all this will contribute to the fun. Absolutely. Heck yeah. And I'm looking at this brown that you used. Colorverse, Buckholes, what is that? I can't, Dai Chang. And this is bank paper chat, right? And then we have currently inked. Robert Oster pink squirrel. Where's that from? That's cool. Is that a regular ink? Birmingham, Penco, Salt, Marsh. So my point chat was all of octopus ink cost me money on those three previous inks. And now I'll, I've been holding off on the Sailor Manio, Manio inks to see what they look like. Um, so I'll probably end up getting one of those. Dominant Industry Atlantis. That's really got a cool like sheen to it. Which one's Dominant Industry Atlantis? Is that one from the Kickstarter? Is that in here? No. What is Dominant Industry Atlantis? Because it's kind of shiny. 
So this second line right here, I don't know if y'all can see this. You see that on that Atlantis right there, that blue, the second line? What is that ink? I mean, where is that? Is that just a regular ink? Robert Ross is from the drink set. Okay, Pink Squirrel. I kind of like that one. And then Pink Squirrel's down here. Yeah, what is this Atlantis? That's pretty neat. Atlantis was one that went with Sea Theme Archive book. Okay, yeah, so um, Olive Octopus Inc. did some of the archive book. Okay, so Mike, you got you. Okay, that's you. This is Asajiri, Ishii, Suyu, Himiyuri. Okay, so let me, let me split these up because these are two separate... Uh, so this is the Sailor Manual 5th Anniversary. I think if I'm going to get one, I'm going to get Ishii, which is the green. Because I have kind of these shades. I don't love that one, although it's kind of got some sheen on it, on the edge. Ishii's kind of a green shade that I don't have. Yes, yeah, Star Lily. U has kind of sheen on it, though. Yeah, crinkly paper goodness, right? And Suyu, Himiyuri, and Asagiri, they're kind of flat, maybe. <laughs> but this one's really bright. Atlantis and seaweed. I might have to look at those. Suyu. I, I, I think, I shockingly, I like Ishii the best, I think. Suyu reminds me of Sukiyo. Maybe a little darker. Love to see. This is one of those things I'll probably just get, I'll probably end up getting all five. And maybe like getting Kimberly to review like a whole set or Jeff or Sarah to review the whole set together. Or review one and give the rest away kind of thing. Okay, so the next set is from the Dominant Industry Kickstarter. I know we talked about this on the... Uh, yeah, they're very saturated. Especially the blue and the orange. Even the pink. You, surprising, has... Have you used this one yet, Mike? This one, surprisingly, has a lot of character in it. Like, I can see some, like, neat, neat colors in here. So this is... This set is the Dominant Industry Kickstarter that y'all heard us talk about. The one I was very confused on the shipping one, I think. Um, so there's three different characteristics that they offered in these inks in this set so standard inks would be like your standard fountain pen inks so blue rose and pink robin pearl inks which have like shimmer in them right so that's the pearl. Both of these would also, I think, they are fountain pen approved. And then they have the calligraphy uh, UV reactive inks, which should really just be like dip pens, which is like some of the ones that I showed you here. So Moonstone and Alexandria. <laughs> they listed poems with each of the five colors. Interesting. Yeah. Unicorn is pretty hot. <laughs> Purple looks like Troublemaker Fox Glove. This one? So it's funny in this one, I really like the Pink Robin. I don't know, this one I like all of them. The blue's not too dark. Both of these look, both of the Pearl series look great. So the Pearl with the shimmer, you can use in fountain pens and then the calligraphy don't. I have that correct? So it's funny, I almost like this kind of uh, more pastel-y matte pink robin than Asajiri. Maybe because I have a lot of colors this color. The U is actually growing on me because I think it might be the weirdest of all these. I don't know, I kind of like all of them.
the blue rose even looks a little bit interesting because it's it's lighter than Suyu. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get get some of these. You almost looks ox bloody to me. It looks more brown. I don't know. It's an interesting color. <laughs> I don't think I have any of the pearl inks, and I would use either one of these. This one be a, would this one would be a good um, peach color for the for the Atlanta peach um, postcard. I like the bottom ones better. The bottom ones have definitely have more character. These are like specialty inks here, um, and these are more these are all standard inks here and standard inks here. Um, yeah, these look just like straight up saturated inks. Like, um, especially these two. Which, excuse me. <sighs> Sorry, chat. Which the Manyo, uh, I guess I just probably have the first series. Do I have any of the second series? I don't even know. Um, what is, uh, like, I have a Kibi and Haha -Ha and Kikyo. <laughs> Those are mostly the earlier ones. They had some shading and some good characteristics. I, I think Ishii is the most compelling to me. If I was going to buy one. And then... Probably this orange peachy color. So they're really cool. Seafoam color would be... Uh, nice if it was slightly darker. I think the cards came out, like the writing on, so this is the same ink as this one. And it's not that bad on the writing. But you're also not using this in a fountain pen, right? You'd have to use this in a dip nib. So it's probably pretty light, the more I look at it, yeah. And you're not gonna, you're gonna have to use this in some type of um, glass dip nib or steel nib to, to dip. Kinda legible, but not super dark. All right, let me look at more of these. I didn't look at all of the currently inked. Okay, so there's Emotional Olive is what I bought last time, which is the fourth one down here. That's a really neat... I'm going to ink that up soon. I really like this Salt Marsh. Wait a minute. This linen toolbar ink is called Ant Chair. Like your ant chair. They have an ink called Ant Chair. Is that for real? Like sardine. I get that. TikTok croc. Yep. Kimberly just talked about that one. Oh, there's the Ishii. That's this one that I want. Do they really have an ink called Ant Chair? Okay, so here's the green. Ishi. That's cool. That might work. Fairy Tales series from Lone Toe Bar have great names. I need to look at that. I don't have any of those. That's hilarious. Cat General. <laughs> Cat General. All right, chat. Let's do another giveaway. Um, we might have to wrap early today. I mean, AKA normal for me. Just because holiday week has me chasing my tail a little bit. So I'm going to go get to shipping because I haven't shipped since. Thursday last week, so I'm very, very behind. Um, so let's do a giveaway, and then we'll probably wrap it up here. All right, I'm going to put these with my other postcards. Let's see. What did we give away? We gave pencils and notebooks. Team Anti. <laughs> How the turntables. How the turntables. Oh, we haven't given away any of the storage stuff from last week's cleanup stream. 
And if Evan's Evan's here, always down for a shipping stream. I technically could. I don't have too much at that desk though. It's kind of I probably won't today because I'm kind of going to be jumping back and forth between different things. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for shipping stream the rest of this year. I promise you. <laughs> With everything Spoke has going on and I have going on, there's going to be a lot. So I don't think I'm going to do it today because I'll be yeah, I usually do it when I know I'm going to be sitting in one space for like an hour or two. And I think today I'm not going to be. I'm going to be, I have a lot of moving and shaking to go. Uh, Evan's here. So Evan sent me this. Um, we did um, we did unclaimed freight last week. And one of Evan's uh, pin blocks was in unclaimed freight. So this is from Pinquisition. Go to pinquisition.com. I don't know if you have any of these currently, but you always have current cool uh, storage and pin rests and things like that. So let's give this away. This is really awesome. Nine hole block. I love the, uh, this is one of my favorite things that pin blocks do is to have the rest. I like having the, the stuff for pins and then the thing, like one rest for like your active pin in case you're like grabbing it a lot. That was unclaimed. You wouldn't even believe the amount of stuff that was unclaimed, SD. Like a lot, a lot. So let's give this away. <laughs> Excuse me. Will there ever be a stitch stream? No, because I don't have a sewing machine and I wasn't the sewer. Like I could do a couple of stitches, but Jeff was the sewer, so I didn't really do it. Um, it would be cool though. It would be loud. <laughs> it would probably be annoying because it would be loud. All right. This giveaway is open, exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. Um, you don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. You must be present to win and email me your shipping address. As I sit here and stare at this going, boy, how am I gonna ship this? I think I'll just wrap it in a couple of envelopes. I'm out of like small size boxes, but I think I have something, so that'll be perfect. Ooh, and then we get to go into the, um, we're going to go into the Shoguns. All seven continents. That's right. We're going to go into the, the Shogun and Geisha stickers here. What are these? Do these type of characters have a name? I don't know what this type of character is. Is there a, a certain name? I need to ship to the ISS. True. I'd be kind of scared to do that. Like, that's what I was talking about. No boxes from recent Amazon deliveries. So what we did in Inky Love was... Um, I had one of Tyler's jobs is to break down all the boxes, right, for recycling. So everything's broken down. I could retape some boxes, I'm sure. But uh, that's that's why I'm I'm low on boxes, um, is because we broke them all down for recycling. I haven't taken them yet, but um, they're all kinds of smushed. Geisha is very much less questionable. So it, does anyone know about these, this character here? So I'm guessing like these are kind of like some samurais, some geisha. Um, but this type of character I'm not familiar with. My mom finally got my grandma's old sewing machine. Yeah, all metal weighs a ton. Yeah. Shinobi. No dancer. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Rolls from a Kabuki theater. Yeah, it doesn't really go into a description here. Uh maybe I need to maybe I need to try to translate this and see what it says. When will we get Toby bookmarks? We've had some before, not custom ones, but some that look like him. And then one was a dog named Toby. Um or I could go and look online and see what these call, what they call these. I'll have to go sort it out. But I love them. All right, y'all got about 20 seconds left. Tyson the bot with some twerking. Could be. Could that could work, maybe. Could be. 
Hey Brad, which spoke pen would I order so the cap pops like yours when we're moving? Um, the ones with the um, the Delrin caps. Um, so this is your Delrin cap. We have some with black in stock right now. Um, so it doesn't really pop, but unless I kind of like pull it against the side a little bit. Um, so that's a Delrin cap. And we have some full length black ones. I don't think we have any roadies um, as opposed to the metal. So this is this is a metal cap. But that's the difference. <laughs> yeah, and even the metal ones don't pop that much. So this one doesn't have vents. But the Delrin caps, you can hear it sound a little bit different. <laughs> Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You're welcome. Okie dokie. All right, let's pick a winner. Calm out, Dell. You just won last week, I think. Calm out, Dell. Again? Like, that might be like three weeks in a row, I think. Is that true? True, 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 true. Maybe. Yes, no. Maybe. I think that's like once a week. Yeah, you again. You again. All right, email me your uh, email me your shipping ass rigged shipping address. I should complete that word instead of reading y'all's chat in the middle of address. All right, winner. All right, got it. Oh, there's the, the pop does come more off the back. Whoops. <laughs> I just threw it across the room. It's not how it's supposed to work, chat. Lady Rue, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you being here. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> Y'all didn't see that part. <laughs> All right, these are the least sticky, sticky notes everywhere. Anywhere, so. Um, Y'all definitely did not see that. So we have to do a little tape tape on here yeah it's not like the pin type b where it's like super super poppy yeah don't question me i'm a professional <laughs> we're gonna pretend that we're gonna put a different pin up here now we're gonna put a different pin. this is the wopex of shipping notes all right there we go different pin all right calm out Dell. send me email me uh your shipping address and i will probably get this ship today if not Thursday. Whew. You don't you won last week and then get on Thursday. Yeah, so you won one, won twice, donated it, and then won again. See, it's good karma. It's good karma for that. All right. <clears throat> okay. I think we're gonna end it here, chat. I'm gonna go. Um okay, let's talk about schedule. So tomorrow. Um, Lady Rue, always, always love you lurking. Just anytime you want to lurk, it's A-OK -okay by me. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Um, tomorrow, I'm recording the podcast at 10. And then we'll stream for like a very short period of time, like 30 minutes. Because at 1 o'clock, I'm recording Friend of the Show for this month for the Pen Attic Members podcast. So that's at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Um, with someone in the European time zone, we'll have to leave that, uh, we'll have to leave that out there. Uh, well, not in the, in, in the European continent, there's more than one time zone. Um, <clears throat> so that's tomorrow. Thursday, I'm not streaming. And yeah, I'm not streaming Thursday because I'm building Lego and that's going to take me two or three hours depending on how many fights Mike and I get. And then I have to, I have some big articles to write this week. So yeah, so tomorrow's normal-ish. Uh, we'll stream after the podcast tomorrow, but not for very long because I have a one o'clock podcast. Um, so I, I need time for lunch and stuff in between uh, doing that. And then uh, we'll go from there. So what's the Lego set? It's Spider-Man's head. So it's just, Spider-Man's head on a stick, like my head on a stick, except Spider-Man. 
Will this be the year the Lego build ends the podcast? If it wasn't last year or I don't know, I, last year or two years ago, um, we almost ended the stream because we couldn't get past this one part. Somehow we did it. And I don't even remember. I think it was Mike's fault, but I can't even remember. I'm going to stick with that. I mean, of course, I'm going to stick with that. Um, so, yeah, Spider-Man's head on a stick should be interesting. We try to keep them in the, like, sub 500 piece category just for timing. So, like, I built the Orchid last year. That was really fun. Or Maybe it was the Orchid. That, was it the Orchid or Lewis Hamilton's car? One of those gave us a problem. And I can't remember if it was the orchid or the car. <coughs> like we were missing a piece. And then I think we eventually somehow found it. Something like that. All right. So that is the, uh, you hated the orchid. It wasn't bad to build. I certainly like, I certainly like the, uh, the end result. This is how you oops. Email's chat in the middle of the address. All right, winner. All right, got it. Oh, there's the the pop does come more off the bat. <laughs> Lady Rue, thank you. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I just threw it across the room. Whoops. That's how it's supposed to work, chat. Lady Rue, thank you for the... <laughs> Let's go, uh, <laughs> Peggy, uh, Peggy, hope you're doing well. 43 months of subbing. Hope you're doing awesome, because you are awesome. Uh, okay, let's go, uh, where are we going to go today? I think Carlo's up. Is Carlo up? Let's see. Uh, okay. Got him. All right, we'll go hang out with the stream scribe. Um, oh, my shorter work week is not applicable. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So that's why we're kind of, uh, we're actually, we're getting the five days done in the four. So it's I have a busy week. So we'll be here tomorrow uh, as normal. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right. Love y'all. Y'all go say hey to Carlo. Uh, go chill. Have a great rest of the rest of the day. Thank you, all of Octopus Inc. for the cards and the swatches. And I'm gonna send y'all some swatches in these giveaways. Um, be good to each other. Love you. Bye.